Hi, hi, this is Robert Smith. I'm at Dundrum Castle here in Newcastle County Down. And someone asked me how to cure ADHD or ADD. Well, unfortunately, you cannot cure those things because they're not an illness. You can change it. So what is ADD and ADHD? Unfortunately, it's on the rise here in our culture in the last 10 years. But what is it really? What is going on? To... I work with a lot of people who are diagnosed this. And most people don't understand what it is. It's, it's a disease. No, it's not. It's an internal processing of information. You know, you take a small child and you, you, you take them from their home and they go into this environment where they don't feel safe. Teachers are making them do things they don't want to do. Kids are picking on them. It's totally changed from where they come from, the security of the home then all of a sudden they can't concentrate. It's a war zone at school and they don't feel safe. Or better yet, you know, I've worked with so many stories like the lady whose uh, young child is, that goes home every night and when she gets home from school off the bus, she's being abused by the, the babysitter. Or, or better yet, she's so scared all throughout the day because inside of her mind, she's playing stories in her mind about being beaten and abused because she didn't do well in school or the young girl who's beaten every morning before she goes to school, make sure she does good. And then she makes a small mistake and she beats herself up all day long. Or better yet, there's so many scenarios and how ADHD and ADD is. Because again, you can take a child who can't concentrate at school, but you can set them in front of a computer game and they can play for hours. And so what the difference is, is what they're focused on, what's going on inside their mind. You know, working with a young man who's they say he's dyslexic, he can't even write his name forwards, he writes it backwards and he hates school. And what I do is I just go in and I elicit the emotional strategies and how they're creating this. And then we start addressing the emotions about looking at a book, the emotions about what happened to them when their dad beat them when they're trying to learn. And I worked with a 56 year old man who's went, decided to go back to college and he's making straight A's and everything but math. And he's failing math. I work with him over the phone. Within 20 minutes, we address the issue, and it goes back to his father sitting at the table and basically hit him, yelled at him, and said, you'll never get math. Unfortunately, that was not true, but he followed the hypnosis of his father. We worked with him 20 minutes later. The next test, he made 100 on it, straight A's in math now because it's all emotional conditionings, it's internal processings. So you cannot cure ADD or ADHD. No medication will fix it because it's not a disease. It's an internal processing of information. It's a belief system, it's an attitude about herself, it's a fear, it's a phobia, it's PTSD and it's trauma. And those can be changed if you know someone who's an expert and know how to change that. And that's me and those who I trained in your tactics. So that's Robert Smith. Um, learn how to take control. Learn how to take control of your own thinking, your own processing of information, and your life can and will get better. They changed, and I know you can too. Peace. There's a world that there has ever been before We gotta let go, let the love flow There's more love in this world than there has ever been before We gotta let go, let the love flow Let the love flow.